put this on here. See if this gets rid of some of the, so the echo. Echo, 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 echo. Is that better? Every once in a while, a device comes around that kind of forces you to admit that the way we've always done things did, might not be the best way to do them. I used a device like that this week. I was at the hospital this week for a couple days for the birth of my little girl, and I brought along with me this little tablet, about the size of an iPad mini, a fair bit thicker, and it had a triple capture card built into it. Yes, you can actually plug in three full-size HDMI cameras, and I did, all at the same time. I'll show you later in the video. And it's got a bunch of other ports too. You can plug in a USB webcam directly into it. It's got ethernet, a bunch of audio ports, literally any IO you could possibly need for a live stream, it's just baked right in. And then you connect to your account, whether it's YouTube or Twitch or a couple other options, and you just go live. So hear me out here, and then let me know your thoughts because I wanna know if you agree with me or not. But after using this for a couple days, uh, I think if this company did a couple things differently, or, or if larger companies like Elgato or Aver Media got a hold of this kind of movement, I think this is the future of streaming. Hey, real quick, before we continue, I'm gonna use this little microphone first off because this is a very echoey room and I'm gonna tell you about today's sponsor, Keeps. If you weren't aware, two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. Keeps offers the best solution to this. Prevent the hair loss even before it starts and do so at an affordable rate. This is something you can do because Keeps offers generic versions of the only two FDA approved hair loss products out there. It is possible you've tried these before, just not at this price. Plus you can get treated right from home. Thanks to Keeps, you can skip the doctor's office, which is generally a good idea during a pandemic, and instead you can visit a doctor online and get your hair loss medication delivered directly to your door. They even make it easy and deliver your medication every three months when you need it. Keeps treatments typically take between four and six months to see results, so the sooner you start using it, the more hair you save. If you are ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash alpha gaming, or just click the link in the description below and save 50% off your first order. That is K-E-E-P-S.com slash alpha gaming. Hey, and after this video, by the way, if you have some thoughts or questions, feel free to jump into my live stream. I stream here on YouTube on my personal channel every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Hop on in there. Let's talk and chat. So first off, this device, which by the way, I paid for myself. I've never spoken to the company, not a sponsored video. Um, this device has some pretty significant flaws and they're important enough that I'd like to get them out of the way first. The build quality is just okay. It doesn't feel like a premium product. It feels like a random third party company that uh, made something kind of cool. But in fact, mine won't charge. <laughs> I didn't realize it until it's at 20% right now. And we still have to get all the B-roll shots, so wish me luck on that. The screen and user interface is not as responsive as like a modern smartphone or like an iPad or anything. It's not necessarily slow, like it's not stuttering and loading all the time. It just, it feels kind of like you bought a $150 knockoff tablet from Amazon. But I think the biggest setback of this device is that the makers, I don't think they realize how much of a game changer this kind of device can be. Like it's very clear that this was marketed towards certain niches and you figure it out really quickly when you open it up and one of the few features is to put a live scoreboard on your live stream. <laughs> really interesting choice. But on the flip side, because this device is so scaled back and simple, it becomes, in my opinion, the world's greatest IRL streaming device. Like this is a streaming backpack on steroids that you can hold in your hands. Just take a look at this IRL streamer. He has his standard handheld camera, which is a high-end mirrorless camera with a nice lens. He also has a POV camera, which is a GoPro mounted to his chest that he can switch to. And he has a friend next to him who's carrying a third camera wirelessly connected to the device. And they're doing the whole thing without a backpack. And just for fun, take a look at how good this looks compared to a standard IRL stream quality that you get out of a giant, clunky, expensive backpack. So right out of the gate, if all you wanted to know is how good you can be an IRL streamer with this, this is the device to buy if you wanna start IRL streaming. Like, it's not even close. Like, check this out. I have three high-end cameras plugged directly into this thing that I can switch back and forth between by tapping once on the screen. So once I return this and, and get one back that will charge, this will 100% be my travel streaming setup. But what I'd really like to hear your opinion on and what got me thinking so heavily about this is that with how much power we have in little devices in our pockets or things like the new iPad Pro that have 
the M1 beast of a chip built into and Thunderbolt on the side, is why don't we have more stream setups like this? Why is this not the norm? Like we've grown so accustomed to building these massive and expensive gaming PCs. Why can't we use something like an iPad and connect little peripherals to it, whether it be small IRL peripherals for on the go streaming or larger, higher frame rate peripherals for gaming and streaming at home? Like seriously, imagine with me for just a minute, you have a little iPad mini and you connect a little dock to it that has one or two HDMI inputs for streaming on the go, going to your friend's place, wherever you wanna go. And then when you get home, you disconnect it, you set it onto a little dock that has maybe some extra inputs or some higher resolution and frame rate inputs like for 4K 144 Hertz stuff. And maybe has some extra inputs for your stream deck and maybe some extra monitors. And look, if you're not convinced yet, there's something that's been on my mind a lot as I've been building this stream room. The entire streaming industry is incredibly saturated with 9 million people all doing the same thing, sitting in the same room at the same desk with the same camera and microphone, not moving, all doing the same thing for hours and hours a day. As streaming has become so popular in the last couple of years, there's become such an opportunity for streamers to branch out and become more flexible like YouTubers are. In the early days of YouTube, most people just made videos sitting in their home, sitting in their living room, but now you vlog and you go out into the world, streaming's going to do the same thing. Especially as video content creators start to see live streaming as good supplementary content to post alongside of their videos. They're gonna start taking what they've learned from video content and applying them into live streaming. We're going to need more flexible streaming devices and this could be a huge new ecosystem. But that's just my huge tangent that this thing set me off on and I'd love to hear your opinion on that. Do you think that's the future of streaming the way I do? In the meantime, until a, an amazing iPad streaming setup is created, let's talk about this thing and if this is a viable product and if you should get it. So the good news about this thing is the hardware versatility is so good, it's, it's probably overpowered. You have so much IO on this thing. I don't know too many streamers that need three HDMI inputs. I mean, I, I use eight, <laughs> I will in this room, but most streamers need like one, maybe two. So I'd love to see a streamlined version of this that maybe cuts the cost down a little bit. The stream quality of this thing is, is good. Like it's definitely good enough. Like I would feel comfortable streaming on this. You do occasionally see some dropped frames that I'm sure you've noticed in some of the example footage. And I do think that it's noticeable enough that they should have fixed it before shipping this device, but it's not a deal breaker to me. I think the biggest feature missing on this that I've spent the majority of my time trying to figure out a workaround for is the fact that there's no support for browser sources. So you can't get any alerts or donations or subs or any of those things that are important for live streamers, you can't put them on this, at least not yet. And that's a bummer to me because they put a lot of really cool and really high end stuff in here. Like there's built in chroma keying, there's picture in picture. You can put an overlay on your stream here, but they didn't put a browser source. I just feel like that should have been a little bit of a higher priority. And that shows me that they didn't anticipate this being a big streaming tool outside of events. Now, since they've released this earlier this year, they have released a bunch of software updates. So I'd imagine that will come to this soon, but I haven't seen any plans for that yet. But realistically, I think one of the biggest setbacks for this device is actually the name. I don't think I've said the name on stream yet. Can you see it? Can you see that there? Can we zoom in on that? It's called the YOLO box. <laughs> like I think a lot of people are going to hear about this device and they're not going to pick it up because it has YOLO in it, which just makes it sound like a crappy toy when this is a really powerful device. So look, I don't think you're gonna start seeing these things everywhere. I don't think this specific product's gonna fly off the shelf. I do think, however, it is a proof of concept of an entirely new era of streaming. Like, I think we're gonna start seeing a whole lot more affordable and, and just practical stream solutions like something like this. And YOLO Live, who's the maker of this, by the way, I don't know if you're watching this or if you even care about my opinion and, and that's that would be fair by the way but to me if you want to lead this revolution kind of be the leaders in this new era before some of the current giants come in and smush you i would suggest you drop the all-in-one streaming package here we already have more powerful devices in our pockets and this whole expensive thing can only be used for streaming it's a giant waste i would shift towards creating hardware attachments for those devices 
that we already have, and then pair those with really robust streaming apps that are optimized for ARM chips like these. Because let's not forget that modern Macs can also run iPad apps. So if a system like this was created, it would corner the entire market of turning every Mac into an incredible streaming device which is for some reason something we still can't do in 2021. But yeah, these kind of shifts get me very excited. It's gotten really dark since I started filming this video. <laughs> it is what it is. Guys, I would love to hear your thoughts. Please share them in the comments down below or jump into my live streams. I'll link to my personal channel in the description below. Uh, come hang out, come talk. But these, just, these new ideas get me so excited. It makes me wish I had a my own Elgato company so I could start doing these things. So anyway, guys, please hit the like button if you haven't yet. Hit the subscribe button if you're not a part of this community. I hope you found this interesting and I hope you found it helpful. And as always, happy streaming.